My thoughts on uh, rappers being targeted by police? Baby, what happened? CMPD. Unlawful police department. Unlawfully searched my car, arrested me. Made me take 12 pictures in there, sit around, arrested me. Then pulled me from out of there and just say, okay, we free to, you free to go. We about to drop you off around the corner. It's almost, it's almost like a give and go, you know, like it's expected. Uh, they're seeing nigger, uh, black men successful with a lot of money and um, coming from the streets, they're going to know that they're probably going to act a little reckless, you know, so they probably have to pay more attention to the guy with the money who's just coming up. Honestly, it's, it's to be expected. Man. I don't know. I just feel like it's just... Guys always out there saying like, yo, I'm a real G, I do this for real, that's what they sell, that's their name. And they get to court and they're like, oh, your honor, I was just um, acting out, that's not my real life. <laughs> you know, but then they're out there telling their fans in the social media, I swear I'm a real G, I'm a real G. Now, which one is it, right? <laughs> now, you get to court, you know, you go and finish your way through, or you could be honest, or you could be dishonest. But at the end of the day, right, um, you're in court and you're saying this is the truth, right? So basically, um, you're totally saying totally the total opposite outside of the streets. Which one is it, right? Everybody's rational, logical. So these fans are just, those cops are just trying to go like, yo, like, we know you're for real. Some of them are frauds, you know? But well, that's I mean, what I think. Like, no, no, I hear you because, you know, some of these rappers are out there putting on the Facebook Live and the IG Live. Mm -hmm. and, and then... Their doors get buzzed down, they're asking like, why, what happened, who told? <laughs> who told? Right? You told on yourself. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> with, with the Yo, shots. I'm telling you, so shots. like, at the end of the day, is doing, police man. targeting rappers, they're keeping an eye on them for they sure, are. but yeah, yeah. it's also not hard to keep an eye on you when you're out here doing the most obvious shit in front of you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right? If and it's your job to do that shit. <laughs> only they move in silence, mean, like, real niggas move in silence. That's what I believe, so... Like, I can mean, legit already imagine the detective in the fucking police headquarters, like, <laughs> what the fuck these dumb niggas are putting out there? Yeah! Maybe you're not know. saying the N-word. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they are, though. Sorry. Maybe you're not saying the N-word, though. No, no, but you know what I mean? Like, at the end of the day, that's what it is. Down to the essence of it is, like, if only you guys weren't putting yourself in situations where you're asking the laws to come after you, then maybe, you know, just keep chasing your money, stay humble, Stay focused, stay in your lane, and you'll be good. But you see a lot of them getting caught up in, in things that could have been so easily avoided. Yeah. And mm -hmm. it's like, it's hard to feel bad for them. But yeah, yeah okay. I mean, they are being targeted, but sadly, it's, it's kind of their fault, right? It's right. Kind of their fault. What you think, Zo? One thing is true, because at the end of the day, when you're making the same amount of money as Taylor Swift, but you don't see Taylor Swift out here putting on like a grill or basically a stunning suburbia. That's not her. <laughs> she could. She could definitely do it. She has well, the money to do But like you're actually well, trying, like you're, you're trying to let people know that like yo, this is how I'm living. I think I'm scarface. What's up? You can't touch <laughs> you. I'm untouchable. Anybody can get got. Man. At the end of the day, if you portray an image, expect the police to be hating because they're working their nine to five. They don't make this much money as you. So they see a young kid without here like a Rolls Royce and acting like yeah, what's up? Man? I'm 18 and I'm how you living? You know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. they actually have to struggle. <laughs> Do those twelve hours. So you say jealousy? By my bitch car. By my mama house. By your horse room. I ain't buying your whole shit. Of course. Well, it's no. Not, well, no, no. Well, no. Here's it's just who are humans. It's a valid point. Here's the thing. If you have reputable black men getting pulled over, right? Just successful black men. Think about rappers. You know, it's flashy, it's, it's flamboyant, it's in your face. To that cop that, like, you know, to Unzo's point, that's making regular, regular money, mm -hmm. right? He gets to pull you over. He's making you have a whole, a whole ball. Yeah, you see him dance, you know what I mean? That's how it is. That's what it is. That's what it is. You know, it's yeah, like, what can make him dance because he can't yeah, control his he's life. Like, yo, he's living through the life of something yeah. that can never happen. Boozy said it, man. They ain't much without a gun and a badge. But if you're giving him that gun and a badge, and you're giving him a way to go ahead and and give you a hard time, yeah. they're going to give you a hard time. So I guess I'm saying, a few episodes back, we spoke about Kodak Black. He's about to get four years, but 
For real, man. And what's the like, line that he said recently? It's like, you know, it's not about you can't take the hood, like you can't stay out the hood, you can't take the hood out of him. No, that's, like, that's what he's saying. Yeah, yeah but you can also not get into a bang out with your own registered fire. But that's the You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what this but shit is fucked up. The police looking at, you know, these rappers, I just think it comes with the territory. I think it's fair. Yeah, yeah. Think, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Well, if, you put, if you put yourself in a territory where you're out here showing, like, you got this and that, and you don't need to be, like you said, real people move in silence. You're yeah. putting the attention, you're on mm-hmm. IG Live, you're taking a, a, a walk full of cash, and you're holding it like it's a cell phone. Let's like, just say on, that. Let's just like, say that. Is your money bringing up the attention to the police? It's I just, think it's more just a gun flashing. Yeah, yeah, but, but, yeah, but that's the point. It starts there, and then yeah. you feel it because you need to be projected. Just to sum it up, because yeah. I, I think we're all on the same page. Yeah. Jay Z's not getting knocked out. I mean, he's R. Kelly, like, uh, not R. Kelly, uh, J. Cole. J. Cole's not getting knocked out. You're not looking at J. Cole. Why are you thinking about R. Kelly, though? Anyway, <laughs> yeah. yo, just to sum it up, man, um, yeah, rappers are being targeted, but it's because they're not using the platform the right way, yeah. and they're allowing themselves to get caught up in tough situations that's leading police to put the bracelets on them, bro.